but I know someone who isn't wearing a winter coat right now. That's Tommy Z of the Tommy Z Band, and he's currently in the Sunshine State, soaking up all the sun before his performance on New Year's Eve. Hey everybody in Buffalo, Western New York, and Buffalo and Courtney, it's Tommy Z here, coming to you from Florida. Don't hate, I'm down here for the holidays visiting some family and friends and wanna invite everybody to the Buffalo Ball Drop for 2020. The band and I are really excited about performing. In fact, we've got a song right now that we're gonna play for you that we're gonna play at the Ball Drop that requires your participation too. Well, I'm going to a party. Baby, won't you come along? Yeah, I'm going to a party. Baby, won't you come along? We're gonna dance all night. Take it till the break of dawn. Tell me where is the party? Ball ball. Ball. Tell me where is the party? Ball ball. Ball. Tell me where is the party? Ball ball. Ball. Tell me where is the party? Ball ball. Ball. We're gonna dance all night. Take it till the break of dawn. Tommy, we love it. We love it. Well, we hope you bring some sunshine back to Buffalo. But hey, we know someone who always brings the heat, spice, and flair to Buffalo's annual New Year's Eve celebration. And that's Buffalo-born saxophonist Will Holton. How you doing? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I like that, bringing the heat. Like he he always does. He's always a great performer, an excellent entertainer, and again, part of the opening act. How do you feel this year? You know, it's a blessing to always be able to end the year doing what you love and start the year doing what you love. So I, man, this is a blessing. It's, a, it's not a given and I love it. I mean, it's fun. You know, the, the fans, the Bills fans will be out there, of course. Oh, you know? yeah. And um, the weather, I mean, the weather is looking pretty good from very your nice. forecast you just talked about. Very, very nice. So a lot to look forward to as usual. Will, how many years have you been participating in the celebration here in the city? This is my third year, mm. um, and I mean, it's just awesome. The first year was like one degrees outside. Oh yeah, it's always <laughs> cold. Last year we had like 45 degrees and then like a little rainstorm after, and the weather's looking good. But like I said, uh, to start the year, like doing what you love, it just gives a whole forecast for the future. Like, it's going to be great this year. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. 2020 is going to be a good year for everyone. I just know it. Will, the atmosphere down there, there's nothing like it. For those mm. who have never been down to Roosevelt Plaza on a night like this, the energy is electric. The people, thousands of Western New Yorkers, and even people from around the country. Buffalo is actually the... Uh, the America's second largest ball drop. Right. And that's next to New York City. Right. So I would say, hey, we're a pretty big deal and you can be a part of this. So what can we expect from you this year? Well, uh, I'll be playing um, on the stage between 1030 and 1045. Mm -hmm. And then I play uh, across the street for the mayor's VIP um, little soiree for uh, pre presented by the Pal League. So it's gonna be really nice, you know, and uh, I'm just happy to be here. Thanks for the Pal League. and. Channel 7, everybody for supporting me. It's great yes, to be here, you of know? Of course. Well, let's talk about where this all started for you. 2020, but let's look back and when you started playing. Ah, wow. Started playing in 1998, you know, and went through the different things that anyone would go through, you know, little peer pressures and, you know, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. And anytime I talk about it, they always say, you started late. And I'm like, it's all about being on time in God's time. Right. So I never considered it being late. You know, and then I went to Villa Maria College for jazz performance, you know, and, and in between that time, I didn't graduate, but in between that time, the School of Hard Knocks, I hung out with a lot of people who are doctors now in music, right. like Rodney Appleby and Jerry Livingston, and um, these people who are just so amazing, taking me out there, you know, being like, hey, you know, having a guy scream at me, lay out on stage <laughs> when I'm playing too much over the vocalist, you know, right, like, right. I'm like, you know, playing my lines, and they're like, lay out. You know, it, you learn yeah. along the way and, you know, working with people like Jim Bohm and Nikki Hicks and I mean, Bruce Wojcik is just a variety, rock, jazz, mm -hmm. R&B. And I learned a lot and it's a it's a lifelong thing. It never stops. Well, how would you say that music has kind of helped you get through life? Um, I would say it's what an outlet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I consider it being like a doctor for real, because someone I always say this coming from a home, a husband and a wife, having an argument in the car, okay. and then they come into my concert or come to see me play. And by the time they leave, they're happy again. Yeah. That's like music is healing. 
You know, that's why people get degrees in music therapy, because it's, it's really healing. Certain tones, you know, that song that they heard years ago that reminded them, you know, but me playing it on the saxophone, I make it my own. I, I, I establish the verbatim, but then I make it my own. And that right there, like I said, is healing. Something different, you know, so um, it's been great. I mean, it's so good. Knowing that music has helped you and helped others as well, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel amazing, you know, to be impactful, um, from the youth all the way up to, you know, 70 plus year olds. I mean, my, like when I do my concerts, um, it's between 25 and 75, mm -hmm. and, you know, and we play music that I play music that I like, you know, from the late seventies to earth, wind and fires, all the way up to the Bruno Mars and Chris Browns and everything in between, you know, it's, it's been great, you know, to, um, Try to, try to bridge a generational gap. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, you know, and that's what music was supposed to do. And sometimes it doesn't, but live music, if you do it right, and it's your destiny to do that, you will be the bridge gapper, you know, the, you know, to bring, bring it all together. Well, music really, truly does bring everyone together. And we're going to hear more from Will later in the show. Plans for 2020, what you're going to be doing in the new year. Yeah. And of course, some tunes as well. So stay with us right here on AM Buffalo.